Welcome to the KBRS's Tile Basin installation video. In this video, you will learn to install KBRS's Tile Basin. This video is not designed to be a tiling instructional video. The tools you measuring tape, a caulking gun, and a level. When you open your KBRS box, you can see that great care has been taken in packaging the KBRS Tile Basin. An instruction manual and trowel is supplied with the KBRS Tile Basin. Before you start the installation, you need to ensure that you have three things. A sound and level subfloor, as well as a properly installed shower drain. Remove the drain's clamping ring. Dry fit the tile basin to ensure drain alignment and proper fit. If a proper fit is achieved, mix the polymer modified thin set per manufacturer's instruction. Using a trowel, you apply thin set to the area of the subfloor on which the tile basin is to be installed. Liberally apply a continuous bead of shower seal polyurethane sealant, or equivalent, to the top outer edge of the exposed drain base. Set the tile basin in place, centered over the drain. Ensure that the tile basin is firmly set into the thin set by carefully walking on the tile basin, evenly distributing your weight. Using a level, check both directions to ensure that the unit is level. Now you can install the drain's clamping ring and firmly tighten the drain's four collar bolts. Next, fasten the furring strips to the face of the studs, starting one half inch above the top of the perimeter flange so that the flange will free float between the tile backer board and the studs. This may be done with either galvanized roofing nails or one and a quarter inch deck screws. Just before installing the backer board, liberally apply a bead of polyurethane to the base where the flange meets the bottom of the tile basin. This will prevent water from wicking up the backer board. Begin backer board installation per manufacturer's instructions. Ensure that there is no pressure applied to the flange where the backer board is installed. From this angle, you can clearly see the purpose of the furring strip, which is to ensure that the backer board can rest inside the tile basin without putting pressure on the basin flange. We are going to show you our recommendation for waterproofing your shower walls. You will want to cover all changes in plane with shower seal gauging fabric or equivalent to both inside and outside corners and joints. To do this, you will begin by measuring your corners and cutting your fabric to length. Note, due to the perimeter flange, it is not necessary to fabric the backer board to the tile basin. You will then need to embed the fabric by first coating the surface with the KBRS shower seal waterproofing using a 4-inch paintbrush. To attach the gauging fabric, press it into the wet shower seal liquid waterproofing. When installing gauging fabric into corners, fold fabric at 45 degree angles to ensure a seamless fit. Once the gauging fabric has been embedded into the wet shower seal, you will need to brush on a second coat ensuring that you have complete coverage and that no white fabric is visible. Seams should be lapped a minimum of two inches. Once all your changes of plane have been treated with the gauging fabric, it's time to cover the backer board. You can do this with either the same brush or a three-quarter inch roller, recommended. Upon the completion of the backer board and waterproofing, you will be ready to tile. Thank you for taking the time to watch KBRS's Tile Basin installation video.